Hi, crafty friends. It's Audra Monk, the crafty yogi, and welcome to the crafty corner and a little crafting on a Wednesday morning. I know I'm an hour earlier than normal. Normally we do this at 1130. Um, but you know, is there a normal? I don't know. No, I try to be I do, I do try to be consistent. I like having a schedule, but life sometimes makes that not possible. So anyway, I've got my little uh, gum surgery midday today. So I have to jump on here early so that we can craft a little bit. Um, let me refresh my computer. All right, so it is Wednesday, September 29th. Okay, my friends, there are only two more days left in celebration, two, today and tomorrow. That's it, two. Two last days for you to save um, by getting free product with your purchase or by joining my team and getting um, a whole free bundle plus the normal great starter kit deal. So if you want to know any more about either of those things, um, I definitely will hopefully be resting this afternoon, but I can be on the computer, I'm thinking. So I, I have a plan because I have a lot of work to do. Oh, okay. So if you're here with me right now, there's going to be a Little Red Live. Nope. It's in that corner. Um, I'm actually super nervous because Switcher updated today and there are more buttons and there are more screens and so I'm hoping I don't press the wrong ones and I'm a little worried <laughs> about that. Um, but I'm gonna hope it goes well. So um, the things about my classes and the specials from Stampin' Up, um, they pertain to right now. Um, the card designs I'm going to show with share with you, and hopefully, hopefully, what's in my head comes out well. Um, those you can use with any DSP, but I'm going to tell you very much about the beautifully pen DSP that you can only get for free for two more days. Okay, so let's just go to the desk. I don't even know if I'm going to do the picture in the picture today. Oh my goodness, um, because there's all these extra buttons. There we go. So we'll see. Let's see if I can do it. Um, Oh, I can do it. Okay, cool. Anyway, th there's bonus screens at the bottom that I don't know what to do with, so I might have to play with them later. All right, so first up, Maker's Mojo. I've been talking about it for the last month because it's almost here. It's on Saturday. I'm so excited. Uh, it is going to be super fun. Ten presentations, two for me, and I will tell you my projects are lovely. And my projects are easy. Like, I think you should always have a mix of projects. Some, well, okay, medium easy, but they're pretty easy. They're pretty nice, but I think that you would love to learn about them. And the other presenters, there's going to be fun folds and 3D items and um, neat techniques. So it would be really cool. Plus there's bingo with lots of prizes. So send me a message or send me an email at audramonk at yahoo.com if you want to know more about that. The joining special I told you about, you can choose from these 12 bundles. 12 bundles. One of these bundles cost sixty dollars and twenty five cents I'm just saying you could get that for free um, do I have all of these bundles I think I might have oh I don't know if I have this Christmas season I'm looking nature's harvest gorgeous leaves oh and I do not have beauty of tomorrow I don't think but I have most of them and so I'll tell you that they're all awesome so if you want to do that hi Barbara um, Oh, my fall gnome, he has been posted. So um, I had 16 kits. I think I've had three or four people pay. Um, if you would like this banner, and it's it's a banner, it's gonna be the gnome at the center, and then a lot of fun little uh, pennants and flags. And I do have a question. For November, we would make a December project. Should we do a no? is two gnomes in a row too much, or should we do like a Christmas tree? Those are the two things I was thinking of, like one with lots of trees, and I think I might use the celebration paper, the uh, one with the trees and the plaid that kind of coordinates with the deer, um, but we could do that with a gnome, or we could do it with a tree. So if you have an opinion, and you normally get these projects, let me know. And then last up on our little taking care of business part, I have three winners from Halloween week last week. Um, Lisa C., uh, I think this is Lisa Chatterjee. I think that I'm pretty sure. Er Erlene Bubb and Levon Sisney Bartell. You are my winners. I have the prizes ready. Um, you're going to get a cute card. I guess you would like to see it this way. And somebody's getting my extra paper pumpkin stamp set. Someone is getting the mini Halloween banner. And then someone, and I'm just going to kind of pick them randomly, is getting um, a half a pack of 
the Halloween DSP and a cute little card. So if you are a winner, I will message them tonight. But if you happen to see this, go ahead and shoot me a message and give me your address so I can send you a prize. All right, so that is all of the fun that has happened. So now we are gonna talk about this hand pen, no beautifully pinned it coordinates with the hand pen suite which i have the paper but i have not gotten the suite on that um beautifully pinned it's free with a 50 dollars purchase okay it's all black and white now you can color it i'm not going to show you how to color it today that wasn't one of the ideas i thought of i mostly wanted to play with the polka dots and the stripes although i will tell you these wiggly stripes they're throwing my brain off because when i'm trying to see if my paper's lined up straight the wiggly stri <laughs> it's a little crazy so the distressed wiggly stripes um there are flowers on the back what else is in here um there is this one with the little i don't know little sprigs that's on the back of the polka dots let's see did i i like this one a lot and i didn't use that today it's really pretty and I think it looks great as is or you could color and then there's these waves or little bumps and I think that's all of them because I, I think there's only four um, it's a great pack of paper but what I was thinking about it as is um, using the graphic details of the lines and the dots so that's what we're gonna play with today which we have other paper that is similar sorry I got to get the card um, and I'm already going to tweak this a little bit. So I saw a similar card um, pairing. I think I have too much lines. I think maybe the paper should be longer. I don't know. So we're going to play with, I have three card designs. We might actually just make the same card. Because um, I think I already pre-cut the pink paper. Um, I got to look. But anyway, I have three ideas of how to play with these stripes and with the polka dots. And then I was like, oh, I could take my ideas to the next level by using these basic border dies. So if you look close, that has a scallop. And I love this pink. This is in the um, symmetry paper in the annual catalog. I don't know if that's the full name. It may have more words, but um, it's kind of a fun paper. So this is like where the paper does the work for us. We could of course um, stamp our own background paper, but I just wanted you to see that. So we're gonna start with this one and I'm gonna see, I am gonna change it just a little. That happens to me sometimes. Okay, so I have a basic gray base. Is that the same size? That is, but you know what I'm thinking? Let's try this border. Okay, so this paper is, how big is this paper? It is four and a quarter by five. And then this one is the four and a, sorry, four, four by five. And then this one is four, and right now it is by two and three fourths, but we're not gonna see all of that. So we're, we're, this is the simplest plan. Okay, we would need a die cutting machine, and I do need the big boss. Oh, thank you, Barbara. I don't know, I saw a couple, like I, so a cool thing about being a demonstrator is we have this uh, Facebook group, it's huge, and it's called, I think it's called Demonstrator Planning Place, and people will share their ideas for classes, for projects, um, and I saw something similar, I'm pretty sure it was probably slightly fancier, but um, it's funny, usually I pep things up, this time I, okay, those flowers are directional, I don't know that it would matter. But I saw that and then I started thinking, what else could I do with this paper? And I did come up with a few ideas. Okay, so I'm thinking kind of like the card I saw, I think they did the little tearing thing, but it made me think of a, like a curtain. And so at first I picked that one border because I thought of the curtain lifting from the sides, but now I'm thinking of like the curtain just hanging down. So I'm putting that right at the bottom and I'm not putting tape on it, so let's hope I can keep it straight. Okay, and we're gonna crank this through. Uh-oh, do I have all my plates in here? I was embossing the other day because that didn't feel like it did anything. Oh no, it did. It was just so smooth, so smooth and soft. Look at that. Oh, that is pretty. Okay, I'm happy. That is so funny when you're, <laughs> when it just cuts through like butter and you don't notice it. I was like, oh my goodness, am I gonna mess it up here on the video? Okay, so we're gonna put this on there so I don't lose it. All right, that goes over here. Let's see, let's fold this in half. I love, now I think you could do this with a black base. 
I don't remember if the card I saw had gray or black as the base. I think you could do either one with this paper. Um, let's take a look. Oh, I like this uh, better than the border I used on the first card. All right, so we're gonna just test it out. Yes, isn't that pretty? I like it. And I almost would like it to be a little bit longer. Ooh, but what if? Ooh, I got an idea. What if, okay, well, this could backfire. <laughs> this could totally backfire. Oops, this does happen to me sometimes. You know, you get a creative idea. What if I cut half an inch off and put it at the top? What do you think? What, oops, what do you think? All right, let's try. So, of course, I'm gonna have to get creative with my putting it on. Half an inch, put this at the bottom. So I would attach those two first. And then, I like it. I like it a lot. Ooh, that looks pretty. I wonder, should I do the border at the top? No, I'm gonna leave it like this. Okay, so I'm gonna do with that. And then on this one, I used the, I think it's called Label Me Pretty Punch, but I was like, I felt like it was too big. So then I saw, don't you love this postage stamp punch? I saw the postage stamp, postage stamp punch. Whew, that's a lot of words. And I thought we would try that. And then I did some little sprigs. I'm just using the sprig punch. I know we have 50 billion dyes that are sprigs also. And they're probably, I don't know. There might be a die that, that is that exact sprig, but I figured this was close enough and it was faster. So I decided to go with that. Sprigs and then a little, hold on. Here we go. Is that long enough? And then a little piece to put our greeting on. Okay, let's attach the, the paper. All right, I'm gonna get out my silicone sheet. So if you have a half inch or smaller piece, use your silicone mat and that way your grid paper doesn't get so sticky. And normally I'd probably wanna put an extra layer, but I'm, I've committed to, we're just doing this. All the other ones you'll see, they have a totally, they have an extra layer of paper. Um, and we're gonna just play with the stripes and the polka dots. Um, we have stripes and polka dots in other papers. So um, if you don't get this, or if you pick something else as your free product when you order the next two days, um, we have similar DSPs that would play with this. And I, Oh, I'm such a fan of, wish, oh, this is funny. This is not the black and white I was thinking about. Hold on. A little black and white peeking out in your, your card. This is from the Halloween paper. Um, and this would be a great paper to have. So one of these cards, I'm not sure which one yet, one of these cards is going to be in next month's Just Cards class. Okay, and we're going to put this on. Oh, see this paper? So, um... One side has a more solid color, and then one side has more of the flowers. It's a cute paper. It's also a cute stamp set, but I did not get that one either. The whole, you know, you have to pay the bills kind of thing. <laughs> or you want to make sure, well, for me, I want to make sure I can eat out. <laughs> I can get Starbucks, right? I have to decide, pick and choose just a little, which, uh, which stamp sets I get. All right, I don't know, that feels pretty even. All right, so look, I like that. I like that a lot. It's really pretty. Okay, so I don't need this anymore. This is coming in. This is coming in. And I have, a, ooh, it was stuck to my finger. You know what, I'm gonna put it like, I'm gonna put it down here. For some reason I'm, ooh, and I'm dropping little pieces of paper on the floor. For some reason I'm feeling that a little bit more than up high. I think the sample I saw it was up high. I'm kind of feeling I like it down low by the curtain. Okay, so we have this little strip. Ooh, hold your horses. Look at that. I have two of these. Do you ever have a bunch of, um, whenever I need, like this one says Merry Christmas, uh, whenever I need to emboss, I always do extras because it's such a hassle to get out your embossing. I mean, it's not a super hassle, but um, it's a little bit of work. I'm going to put that on instead. Um, 
Let me snip that a little. Ooh, let's get fancy. Make it a little banner. Hi, Deb. Good morning. Um, so yeah, I always do extras, and then I just keep them on my desk. And I am a yes. I am such a big fan of the little strip with words that that makes me happy. Okay, so we're gonna put this on. Almost thought for a second, should I add ribbon? But no, I'm gonna keep it simple. Keep it simple, and I'm gonna do that. Okay, let's see, let's get that on there. I'm gonna go here, just for something different. Okay, my little sprig, he needs a glue dot. Oh, I'm glad a few people could join me this morning, especially since I'm early, because, you know, yeah, let's put it, I'm gonna do it there. So I'm gonna put it there, and then this one's gonna get some dimensionals. Get my black dimensionals, it's always fun when you can be like so specific to your project that we have black dimensionals. Okay, so if you're just joining me, um, of course say hello. We're making three cards using the beautifully pinned, oh, Look at how cute it is I'm using the beautifully pinned uh, DSP. Um, I think this one I added the symmetry, but the other ones I think I'm just using that and some other things. So there, this was my starter, and then this is what happened instead. Um, we're also using the basic border dies to add a little bit of interest to our cards. Oh, I like this one way better. I do. Not that I won't give this to someone, but I'm definitely loving that one a little bit more. Okay. So now things get even wilder in that this is what I cut paper and I was like, okay, so the, this will let you into how I think. I'm like, well, one of my favorite things, I like stripes at the bottom and I like stripes at the side. So I cut this paper um, and then I want, I was like, oh, I should add color. And I, I was gonna go Calypso Coral, but it looked a little too Halloween-y to me. So every once in a while I have to challenge myself. This is, rich razzleberry which i hardly ever use unless it's in the dsp so a lot of times in the fall that will come up so i saw it on my shelf and i was like you know what i'm gonna go rich razzleberry so we are gonna cut this border i wanted to use this zigzag one all right so we're gonna see if this works out oh thank you barbara hi angie welcome Mar barbara's being one of my best cheerleaders right now which I appreciate okay so my thought was stripes down the side but add a little teeny hit of color does it matter okay I think I can flip it over so I don't think it matters which way I put this die in I just want it to be straight ish straight ish okay let's put that on and crank it through this new, I know it's not super new, but this new Stampin' Emboss machine from Stampin' Up. <laughs> so now I'm like dragging a hair. Anybody else a big shutter? I am a huge shutter <laughs> of hair. Anyway, it cuts like butter. It's like so smooth and even. Um, yeah, look at those. And look, this has stitching. I'm a fan of stitching. Okay, move this back out of the way. Thank goodness. Um, we'll see which border we use. Okay, so now let's see if what I thought seemed like a good idea will work out. Okay, so we're just gonna fold this. You know, if I had time to make all of the cards and then just remake them with you, that would be super, super cool. But then also I'd have 80 billion cards. I do think I'm gonna need to have a card sale. Um, I've got bins and bins of cards with this whole change in how I do classes or do things with this whole trying to grow the online presence. I am making a lot of cards. Okay, so hold on. Let's see. Stripey here. And so I did these. They um, This back is four by five and a quarter. And these are the three and seven eighths. Uh, length so you can see a little tiny white border okay and then I feel like oh okay so I may have to trim that because it looks like it's too big and then I was thinking oh here wait a minute I think maybe this should go on top yeah that looks good okay so I just need to trim a little little bit off or should I just slide it over duh 
I can just slide it over. Okay, I am digging that. That is super cool. Oh, I feel I feel like uh, I don't know. <laughs> like, ooh, that's exciting. Okay, so we're gonna just put this on. Just put this on. <laughs> Good. Angie's a huge hair shedder too. Um, everyone in my family is. Uh, probably my husband is the least, but uh, we have a lot of hair. There are many times, this is so random, but there may be clogged drains on occasion. Um, I mean, we try. So I just bought my son, he has a lot of hair, one of those little, I don't know, little thing you put on the drain so that the idea is the hair collects there and then you throw it away. So we'll see what happens. Okay, now do you guys remember how I did that? This is gonna go, you know what? Okay, this is what we'll do. Yes, we're gonna let that peek out. So... Okay, I think I can just go to the edge. All right, let's get our silicone thing. But uh, yeah, I'm always finding them in random places. Okay, so we put, hold on, got a little adhesive sticking out. Oh, I just did that wrong. Okay, it's okay. I'm gonna put it, put, oops, none came out. I just totally did that wrong. It'll go fine on the card, but I can't. But here's the cool thing about the silicone mat, in case you didn't know this. Not only does it protect my grid paper, but I can put this down and it's not gonna stick. So now I can line this up nice and neat. So a silicone mat, it sounds silly. It's like seven bucks. Um, you need one. Okay, and then I've got that. Now I've already got adhesive on that edge, so that's good. Um, you know what, I'm gonna leave it here in case I mess something else up. Oh, and then, uh, so more random facts. Oh shoot, it's starting to bleed. I cut myself on our trimmer, changing out my blade yesterday. And I had a Band-Aid on yesterday. Oh my goodness, I do not have a Band-Aid over here. And uh, it was doing better this morning, but now I just felt it get a little, little bit, uh, irritated so I'm gonna I'm gonna craft like this and hopefully don't bleed on my paper all right so this is gonna have its tiny border all right I'm getting excited about this card now I just thought normally I would put ribbon or I would just butt those um, papers up next to each other but I was like you know I'm using the borders what else can I do with them and I think we have a couple other sets oh, look how cute that is Oh my goodness, and that one, just adding that little bit of paper, and you can add it in any color. Um, but I did try to challenge myself by picking a color. I don't use quite as much. Okay, and then what else did I have? Oh, I was just gonna do some little little bits down here in the bottom, and I had this tiny piece. All right, so here we go. We're gonna just stamp, I think, like a hello. I like hello or thinking of you a lot. I did get out a stamp set. Um, this one with, here's the hello. Because um, then I can still make it be a birthday card if I want, right? I have that little bit of flexibility. All right, so we're gonna go with Rich Raspberry. I hope this ink pad is not dried out because as I said, it's not a color I use a lot. So we're gonna test it on the, oh no, it is good. Do I want it there? You know what, hold on, I have another idea. I have another idea. Let's put it on the other side. Oh my goodness, this is bad when you're trying not to use one finger. Okay, let's put it over here. Okay, I'm gonna put this away. It's so funny, the tiniest bit of stamping ever. Oh, this might have to be just cards to class. Even though it's a little more, I'd have to die cut all those little things. Yeah, so we're gonna do some kind of thing like this, but I need to make it smaller, so I need a trimmer. Yeah, the trimmer that attacked me yesterday. So be cautious, it is very pointy, that thing. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this down. Ooh, even better. No, 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 I'm gonna do the back one. Okay, oh my gosh, you guys are gonna laugh. You're like, oh, just make up your mind. Okay, so I want this to be a little bigger than my half inch. I'm gonna make it be three-fourths. I had just grabbed a bunch of little pieces because I was like, well, yeah, and I'll put a little thing in the bottom. Hmm, you know what would be really cute is a, a black circle with a tiny white circle that said hello. That would be really cute too. Do I have any of those? I don't know that I do. 
Ooh, or I could have put it on this. See, I didn't even look at my little um, basket of cut things. Oh, thank you, Angie. I'm glad you like it. Isn't it neat just adding like a little hint of color? Here we go. We'll banner this one. Adding just a little color. Okay, so let's see if my, we're going to probably have to cut this down. Oh, no, look at, oh, wait a minute. We're going to cut it a little, and we're going to add that little tiny piece. That I see there. That was from cutting off the edge of the paper. Now I did see this somewhere, and it may have been on this card. The problem is, you look at like 50 cards, right? This is what happens. I might type in in Pinterest or in that demonstrator planning place group the name of the product, and then I'll look at, ooh, yeah. I'll look at like, um, but I think it needs to be shorter. I'll look at like 20 cards and I'll be like, oh yeah, I like that one. Oh yeah, I like that one. And I'll save the um, pictures. We're gonna cut a half inch off. And then they all kind of morph into my head into like, you know, a couple of different cards. And sometimes I'll go back and I'll be like, oh, I did do it pretty much like I saw. Or I'll be like, oh, I re basically combined like four cards together. Okay. So I'll come Matt, a little adhesive. But I think that's a good way to just to make cards because then you're casing them, but you're also kind of making them your own. You know, whether it's just changing the stamps or the colors or um, that you're using, you know, one element that you like. And um, you should, except for that your phone, uh, what do you call it, photo album gets a little crazy. I want to put this under there. Um, yeah, like if you looked at my phone, it's so many pictures of projects. But I'll see like a bouquet of flowers. And I'm like, oh, I like the way they did those colors. Or I'll see a shirt or a sweater. And I am often like saving that. And then sometimes later I'm like, why did I save this? What was this for? And then I'll realize, oh, yeah, it's because I was going to use it to inspire me. Okay. All right, I need some more. I'm gonna stick a glue dot in there. Stick a glue dot in there to hold that down. Make sure this side, okay. Yes, I think that's awesome. And I'm gonna bring that all the way, I've got a little, there was a little piece of glitter sparkle there, all the way over. Yes. Now, do we add a bow? Do we add a bow? Let's see. It would have to be little. Hold on. Do we add a gold bow? No, no, gold does not look good. Oh, but we could add a little silver bow. All right, let's do that. All right. Six inches, that's my go-to for a bow. Do the bunny ears. And then tuck them in together. You know, tuck one through, so basically tie a knot. And if it comes out all wiggly jiggly like that, it's okay, because you can now play with it. And if you have to abandon it and start over, it's not too bad. All right, so I'm thinking, I'm kind of go, gonna go big bow, but this piece is too big. Ah, and I like that over there. Okay, let's attach it to the card. And then how are we doing? Okay, hopefully we got time for one more because I thought um, last night I made the video for Just Cards Christmas. Um, if you got that, the email will co be coming out tonight. So I'm ahead of schedule on that because of the little uh, gum surgery I'm gonna do this afternoon. Plus I gotta work on the cabin thing because I'm going out of town. So if you order the cabin thing, um, oh, one thing to know, the I got the DSP, which is now unorderable, but I could not get the ribbon. So it says it should be orderable the week of the 4th. I'm going to expedite it, um, and I'm going to get it. So I think that the packets, instead of being ready on Friday, I am hoping I only have to move it to Saturday, um, which is a bummer because I was actually going to have them all ready and send them out on early on Tuesday. But the order the ribbon was unorderable I could not order it um, 
So, fingers crossed. I did put out some feelers for ribbon, and I had a couple people get back to me, but it wasn't as much as I needed. So, I decided to hold off. Otherwise, I'm going to be begging people for that white sparkly ribbon. This is the only problem with the whole COVID and shipping right now. It's wackadoo. It's crazy town. Um, and then I just stuck that on with a glue dot. I kind of like that card. That is really pretty. Very nice. Okay, so now we have two using our borders and using our paper. And I have one more idea. I'll have to use this one on another thing. Okay, so, ooh, I might use that. Ooh, I just dropped it. All right, so my last idea, um, because last night, oh, that was a long segue. I was talking about, um, I did the tutorial for the Just Cards Christmas, and I had that angle cut. If you like the angle cut, I did a video on it probably a couple weeks ago. And so I was looking at this. I had this sunflower left over from when I did the sunflower banners. I cut out a few too many. Um, so this was my idea, and then I was going to use one of these borders. But I'm thinking the angle thing. I don't think I want clouds. Ooh, what if I just do this? That might be fun. And then we're going to put this sunflower. I will fix it the right way. Or if I do it that way, you won't even see it. So maybe it's not necessary. Or, you know what? Let's just not use the border. I was going to use the border, but let's do the... Okay, this is not the right size totally. Neither of these are the right size. All right, hold on. Because I want this to work, and then it'll make it so I can make two. So, we need to cut a piece of paper. <laughs> because my first idea, I was like, oh no, I could make it even better. All right, so the polka dots is this one. And we are just going to cut that at three and seven eighths. So, I did a video on the angle thing, and I'm now doing it here too. And five and an eighth. Okay, and then what was the other paper I wanted to use? The stripes, right? Yeah, the stripes. Do I have an extra piece of stripes? No, I do not have an extra piece of stripes, so that means I've got to cut a piece of stripes. Do I not have any stripes? Oh my goodness. Well, that, hold on. Oh, I do, I was like, really? I have to open another pack just to, but I apparently, so now you know which paper I've used the most. Um, from this pack. Let's go with our three and seven eighths and our five and an eighth. Okay, and then what you do is you take your two pieces and you put your paper in here and you pick your angle, big or little, whatever you want, and then you just cut it. And if you did get the Christmas Just Cards, they're not all the same. Um, you get what you get. Um, okay, and then, see, now I can do polka dots and stripes together. How cool, right? It's so easy. But it adds just a little bit more visual interest. And with using a big uh, focal point, the angle will be fun. Okay, so now I've got to put this on here real fast. I usually look for, I think it's this one. Yep. See, and then you can find that. Okay, so then keep it like that. Flip it over. Put a couple glue dots on it. Everyone who got that uh, fall truck banner, they got to do this a couple times. These sunflowers, they're in the annual catalog. Um, I do love them. There are great stamps, and there are great dies. Um, they cut really well. I mean, our Stampin' Up! dies cut so nicely. Um, all right, I think we need three. Hold on, got a glue dot here. I've been, okay. And then double check it again. No, I messed it up. Oh, there it is. Okay, put that down. Okay, so normally I do this with um, an early espresso or I had this crumb cake center, but because I wanted to use this stripey paper and put it on gray, I'm gonna do it um, in gray. Does it matter? I don't think it matters hugely, but I kind of liked having that color link up. And I don't know that there's any special way to put that on. I just stick it on. Okay, 
Now we're gonna put our paper on. So we're gonna put stripes at the bottom, just cause I kind of prefer that. And then we want, where's the polka dots? Oh, there it is, polka dots at the top. And then, see now you have another one. And on this one, you could also do stripes at the bottom, polka dots at the top, or you could do it the other way. You could do either or. Okay, so let's put this on. Move my scissors out of the way. So if you didn't know how to make a diagonal, diagonal uh, card front, that's how you do it. I do think it's nicer to have this extra layer because um, I feel like it grounds the paper, which sounds kind of weird, but um, I think it just makes it a little bit nicer. Oops. Come on. Am I almost out? I had to replace. Uh, I am going through... As I said, I'm making a lot of cards. I'm going through Stamp and Steel like there is no tomorrow. Um, I have to check. It was back order for a little bit, but I did order more. And I put some on my order that I did last night, so I should have it soon. Okay, something is crooked, but we're going to go that no one will notice. <laughs> oh, sometimes it's nice when you can make a card that's not crooked, but many, many times you get to make the crooked card. Okay, hold on. All right, then this is gonna come here. Now this is where I gotta decide. Yeah, I don't know what I did crooked there. All right, so, but you know what? When you put this on here, you're not gonna notice. So I've got my big sunflower. Do I add ribbon? Let's look. I didn't do ribbon on the other ones, but I love this gingham ribbon. And I think it's fun to have gingham and then have polka dots and stripes. Oh yeah. Now do I tie it? I think I'm just gonna put it across and tuck it behind. Okay, I think I'm gonna do that. So it's like a strip of paper. So if you didn't have ribbon, you could do a strip of yellow or a strip of gray paper. Okay, so just center that there. don't know why I put it that way. Let's see if I can fix that. Let's put a little more here. Nope. I've got to keep the angle somehow. Let's see. I'm doing the thing where I stick my tongue out because it helps you concentrate. Sorry. <laughs> Anybody else do that? I don't do it a lot. My son when he was little used to do it a lot and it's not a good thing to do when you're playing soccer. We had to teach him. We're like, put your tongue away. Put your tongue away. Um, but some people do that. We just thought in soccer it would be bad because he might bite his tongue. He didn't, so he survived. All right, and now we're going to put this on. Dun, 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 dun. And then our flower's going in the middle. And, well, we're not going to stamp hello in rich raspberry. Ooh, hold on. I had two of those happy birthdays. What if? I think I could do that. Maybe not in the center. Ooh, what about over here? Okay, we're going to put this happy birthday. I kind of like that. You could also just stamp it um, in black or in basic gray on white. All right, let's see, how would that look? That would look fine too, that would. But since I've got it, we're gonna put that there. Okay, so this is just going on. I'm gonna do glue dots. <laughs> okay, so Barbara's admitted she sticks her tongue out when she's concentrating. That's funny, I don't normally do it and then I just caught myself doing it. I'm like, what is going on? Okay, so, whoa, that glue dot got all crinkled. Um, I'm doing glue dots because I don't want it to be too fat, but I also don't want it to be um, too flat. And that sounds really weird, but I think glue dots, you know, because they're that, I don't know how thick they are, a teeny tiny bit thick, kind of changes the way the, I, the piece looks on your card. Okay, and they're super strong. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just center it. And then let's see if we're going to use dimensionals on that. 
Yeah, let's put some dimensionals on that. And then we're good to go. We will be good to go. I'm gonna go eat some lunch and brush my teeth and go to the dentist, which is no fun. I was wondering if um, they play music or something. <laughs> <laughs> it would be nice. I don't know. I mean, it's we need dentists, right? It's an important thing to take care of our teeth and our gums, but uh, doesn't mean we have to like it. Okay. I picked a spot. All right, my friends. Now, let's take a look at three kind of very different cards, all using the same designer series paper. And two of them, look at that. I mean, see how that paper is just so nice. So if you are uh, placing an order to take advantage of the last two days of celebration, you might wanna add the beautifully penned paper or either of the other two papers, all the papers are good. Um, the sparkly paper is sold out and the uh, sheep dies are sold out. You can still get the sheep stamp, but the sheep dies are sold out. Um, so that is something to think about. If you're ordering and you don't already have a demonstrator, I'd love for you to pick me. Um, go to audremonk.stampitup.net. Um, questions, comments, requests are all welcome. Um, I think that's it. I'll see you next time, my friends. Stay crafty.